So the first thing we want to do is uh, set the height um, on the bandsaw to make sure that the uh, wood is cleared. So I'm going to raise it a little bit. Not too much. And then I'm going to make sure that uh, these stones are, are just a little bit away. It needs to be a space of about uh, paper thin in between that and the blades and then lock them. Don't need to do that every time. See, so now it, it can clear. Um, now, um, there's a safety pin for the bandsaw, so when you're not around, uh, nobody else can start it. So, uh, I store it uh, somewhere where the kids are unable to reach, uh, reach it and you gotta make sure that uh, safety first all the time so I'm gonna start off <coughs> by uh, leveling the piece of wood here a little bit above her uh, hairline so that was gonna be the first cut So right above the hairline, it leaves you a little room to uh, carve it down, just a tiny bit. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start tracing away and cut off this side. And this side doesn't have any pattern on it. Um, but then I'm going to make sure that I uh, leave it in a way where after I cut it, I can still attach it back because then when I'm going to do this side, I'm going to need that. Um, to hang in there so it'll be straight when I'm running it against the flat surface of the bandsaw okay so let's uh, try that I'm doing is essentially tracing out the lines, not cutting them all the way through. Um, some patterns you can uh, do some cuts and then tape it back on. 
So you'll still have a, a flat surface. In this case, I'm just leaving a few of them um, connected, just not cutting all the way through. And then, so then we can do this side. Um, I'm going to start cutting the patterns here. Um, so let's do that now. And I'm using a thick, a thicker blade here. I have a thinner one, but it's not set up right now. Um, you can use a thinner one. It'll make it easier. I mean, the width. Um, so I think this is a quarter. This is a quarter inch, and I think I have the other one is uh, three eighths.